Good morning, it's me, Elijah. You might have seen my Monarch Caterpillar uh, Chrysalis video before where back in 2016 I did Monarchs and the Chrysalises were made up during the net and we released them outside. I've since moved away from that place. Now I'm raising the old beautiful Polydemus Swallowtail. And these are the eggs. Also known as Goldwim Swallowtails. But they are the 100% exact same thing. The eggs. There's a little hatchling up there. The Polydemus. Back there is three caterpillars. So one baby, one egg. Let me. Sorry. A bunch of eggs, one baby, three of those others. Uh, and uh, Polydemus swallowed to a chrysalis. It was made yesterday when I went to work apparently or my, uh, during my outing after the doc after work. <laughs> I went to work then we had the doctor probably then we went to some places. So during that time we made it. It was hanging up, for, up there for a couple of days getting worried it wouldn't make it but it did. So I'm going to be showing the updates at the Polydemus Swallowtail Nursery. And this is the exact same net as those monarchs over a year and a half ago uh, made the Christmas. Well, not so a year and a half ago. It's been one year and Yeah, a year and five months ago. So I'm going to be releasing all these butterflies at the Wilton Manus Library where I volunteer at because with my boss's permission, I planted milkweed for monarchs, and I also planted a pine vine for these butterflies at the library, the Polydemus Solitaires. We have seen a lot of monarchs at the library, but not a lot of... Actually, yeah, only one Polydemus I've ever saw there, but it was by the milkweeds and not the pine vine. So by doing this, and releasing them by the pine vine in the library, I'm trying to get the swans to lay eggs at the python at the library by increasing the population within that particular area. So, if you want to do this at home, get some pollen and swallowtails. I've had to have a python in my backyard. Uh, got some of these cuttings from there from. Put them in a glass of water so they don't die. And put them in the net like this, so they don't run off everywhere. And just wait, they're campers for about a month, and then, well, today is, let me check the date on my waterproof watch. 24th of June, so this guy's expected to be opening by July 23rd of next month. This is about a month or four weeks or so before they open. These guys have eaten... If I can try to see the little hole bond in the leaf there. They ate that. And they ate all of up here too. And sorry about that. My little camper guys is trying to look for some food. Or he might be eating. Is he eating? No, he needs to look for some of these leaves. But he'll eat eventually. That's the canvas skin I fell out during the Christmas formation. And I have another uh, surprise. That's my pet tarantula, Haley Woe's Love, by the way. This camper fell down yesterday when I was trying to make this chrysalis. So I did this. I've done this once and it successfully worked to a chrysalis, so. And we all make the chrysalis in there. A little air for it until it's a chrysalis. It was up here, but it fell down. So it's now in it. I'm going to keep you guys updated on this and see what happens. Today is June 25th. Uh, There's a little update on my polydemus swallowtails. I moved the eggs to here, the orange dots, because it's a better leaf to eat. The other one was pretty bad. And guess who formed overnight? A polydemus swallowtail chrysalis number two. That's the skin. Remember I told you last time I fell down there so I had to put it in there. Mm -hmm. uh, 
that's the first Christmas. So now I really guess the next step is to wait for all these eggs. Wait, let me try and find them. Boy. It's the third leaf. Yeah, off all these eggs to hatch and see the larvae. Alright. June 26, 2017. I got the new caterpillar here and apparently it's having some troubles. New baby there too. Trying to use the bathroom, but it's not being successful at it. I'll also move the eggs so they're easier to see. Look what we got. One of Polydemus Swallowtail campers is molting at this second. It's kind of hard to see through the net when it's molting. I think it's clearing off his soul skin. This one here already molted. That's cool. It's starting to pull out. Hold on a sec. Okay, so I have to check something. I'm back. That is cool. We get to see a molt. So I'm trying to make the image clearer. This guy is so, uh, right here. My steak's skinny cold, so glad you got to see this one more, at least a little bit. It's June 29th, 2017 at 5.50 p.m. and 29 seconds, not 30 seconds. Look what hatched. See those things? Welcome to the world, uh, Polydamuses. See them? Somewhat better. They're eating their eggshells. That's the first thing they eat. It's the eggshells. And they'll grow and grow and grow for a month. And the big guy is over here. And in the back, the chrysalis is doing fine. Welcome to the war, Polly Demis Tales. We hope you survive and do well. Oh. Of course, it's in here, so we need to find too. Yep. It is July 4th, 2017. Hey, Independence Day. 
another update here. All the hatchlings have vanished, unfortunately. I've not seen them for a little while. But the two big ones are doing great. This one's shedding his skin. One over there is doing his own thing. Uh, you see, you see the chrysalis is still there. But I see a little document in the top, which is a good sign that it's forming. See, up here is the eggs where they hatched. But now the larvae left. For every time I raise a tiny baby larvae, they always not really make it. So, let's not do that again. So, I went to Butterfly World this Saturday and two Christmases. Friend of the Julia? And what are they daggering? I don't know why I'm just a staggering, because that's only half of the name. <laughs> the what are they daggering was all green at first, even just yesterday. But this morning, it turned brown, so hopefully it'll emerge soon. And then the Julia is brown. This time the crystal is here. But the Polly Davis is doing good. All right. So, guess what emerged today? My Wuddy Daggering Butterfly that I got from Butterfly World this Saturday. Look at this real insect. It's Lava Host Plant a Strangler Fig. Can you believe that? I'm going to open this lid and release it. The first Wuddy Daggering I've ever raised and, well, released ever, if ever, in my lifetime. Let's shake it down a little bit because I want to. Hello. See if we can close my finger. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful insect. Whoops. There we go. Yeah, that's the weather daiquiri. Let's go over there and see if I can maybe hold it in my finger. This is for the native. Okay. And the blue. Alright, oh, oh, that's the end of that. Hello, it is 5.50 p.m. on July 17th, 2017. You notice my net is gone, and the reason why is because I donated to the library for a temporary butterfly chrysalis exhibit. The Julie and the other two polydemus swallowtail chrysalises. But all three of them already emerged. Uh, here's some pictures of one of the polydemus swallowtails that emerged at the Wilton Myers Library. Okay, now. I raised one of polydemus swallowtails that didn't really make it before in the old net that released outside that brought back in. Well, it made a chrysalis last night or this morning, whenever. Sometime I was in bed. And a sulfur caterpillar is now the new guest. Make it its Christmas, the first one I'm ever gonna raise. No matter what type of sulfur it is, it could be the orange spot sulfur, the cloudless sulfur, or the some yellow sulfur thingy. And it's, it ate uh, candles to cassia. And hopefully, this one will make your chrysalis soon, and this one will emerge. It's due by, well, August 16th, August 17th, the next month. That's the, around the earliest time to do the ones that I merged the lab, which took at least three weeks before they emerged, so. Yeah, these guys take a while. But this one, I don't know. For the candlestick cassia, so. Elite candlestick cassia and Bahama cassia, it's in this, will occur, for the sulfur. Let's see what happens next. It took several weeks, but finally my cloudless sulfur emerged today. Polydemus has yet to. <clears throat> I have one. Ah, uh, hand for the video camera, and the other hand is on my free, so I'm scared I do the butterfly. You know what? Uh, let me get a container and put it in there, I guess. I don't know, I want to release it by finger. Do something here. I cannot loosen the house. 
I don't want the damage. It's wings. Get back. I know what to do. I know what to do. Too small. Good. Boy, clownless. I don't want to find in the house. Oh. Okay. Get in the container. Hopefully to God is okay. But I got I'll name this one. Uh <laughs> I always name my creatures. My pet brown rat. Uh what should I name it? I am have to name it for at least great. Look at this one. This has been a tropical storm. Emily Formiga on the other coast of the Florida. Hopefully look at <clears throat> I'll name you. I don't know. I'm going you. Sue. I'll name you Sue. Excuse Sue Scott. Hey Sue. <clears throat> well, one really serious that both I have for that. But unfortunately, it's far. But that's where he'll spend us. At least you know what's here. The Kimbalist is a sagging. Wipe them out with my shirt. That's fair. <clears throat> this is going to get foggy again, so. This is how this one got out of that, but it's gonna have to do. Oh, I hate when the lens gets soggy. There it goes. There it goes, Sue. That's the end of that. So, this is the last butterfly to be released the Polydemus Swallowtail. Golem Swatha, 100% exact, entirely same thing. It's a beauty. Excuse me, I have to put in this container so we can release it. And I'll sign if I can attempt to get a hold of it. Here, buddy, buddy. Oh, you okay? I just want to make sure it's okay. Alright, got it. Don't find out stuff like that. Come on. Let's go outside. <laughs> We're going to go buy his house. Unfortunately, it's too grassy back right there to get to the host plant. So let's go this way. Look at that magnificent creature. The golden pond is on top. Let's see that gun. That's his pipe. We had a lot of interesting run fights in this video. Unfortunately, it's the last one. But like this on. Yeah, just like that. Well, maybe not for both of them. One of my favorite things to do. Oh, here is the beautiful button. Let me try and get onto my finger. I named this butterfly Luna. Look at Luna. And that's pretty. Oh. There she goes. There she goes. But the dead tree. Yeah, and now it's on top of the palm. See it? Well, thanks for watching the butterfly uh, video of me raising the cameras and getting the chrysalises and then the butterflies can released. Thanks for watching.